Growing up, I've always heard legends of ghost stories and haunted houses, but I was still a skeptic. I've never seen it. Why should I believe it? But the more I grew older, the more and more paranormal events happened to me in my life, and I had no choice but to start to believe, which grew a curiosity in me that could only be fed by going and investigating haunted locations and finding out the truth for myself. I am joined in this study by my sister Beth, who has always had experiences growing up and was always open to the concept of ghosts, whereas I was always the rational one coming up with excuses. Also joined by my girlfriend Michelle, the three of us joined the group MIA Paranormal in hopes to validate our experiences and claims and gain more knowledge of the paranormal. Being new and inexperienced, Beth and I jump on the opportunity to investigate an abandoned farmhouse in rural Ontario. Anxious to see what awaits us on the other side. Is there anyone still in this house that wants to talk to us? To talk to us? There's a dead raccoon. No. Probably one of their pets. Probably one of their pets. They want other pets. The house appears to be an ordinary old farmhouse, and it would have been if not for the last tenants who used the house for crimes such as breeding and selling exotic animals and drug trafficking out of the house. The police later raided the house, arresting the tenants. It sat abandoned and ruined ever since. How would that affect the house, though? Well, it definitely create a lot of negative energy in the house, especially if anybody died in the house previously and they know these people ruined their house, that caused a lot of bad feelings and negative energy. The property that you owned, ruined by strangers that you don't know and you can't stop from doing it. Could these be the emotions that the spirits feel? It's trapped there, waiting to express them to anyone who will listen? We wanted to find out. Late now. Beth and I are joined by my mother Sharon and her boyfriend Don as they wanted to explore the abandoned house for themselves to see what it looked like <laughs> on the inside. The windows are all broke. And you go ahead. And go on. Bethany, what's you doing? Swing. Here's the whisper again. Listen closely. Take the camera down, Beth. Wait, you can go down by yourself? Okay. Or I can follow you. It's up to you. Hey. Just careful on the stairs because you don't know if they're going to give way. Just be careful that you don't. Yeah, that's what I numbers. said. You never know what's doing. Ah, dead raccoon. Ah. Hey? There's a dead raccoon. Yeah, well, that's what I said. Probably one of their pets. 
Watch, there's a hole there too behind you, Jojo. Where's the dead wreck? Oh, I see it. Where? Oh, poor thing. What's over there? Is that just the wall? Or is there another room? Want to try to get some EVPs down here? Yeah. Tell Don to be quiet up there so we don't hear him. Quiet, Don. <laughs> quiet. Ready? Mm-hmm. We're going live. Is there anyone still in this house that wants to talk to us? Is there anyone here? Just make your presence known. Speak into this recorder. Was this your house at one time? We're going to leave this place soon. If there's anything you want to say, say it now. Want to upstairs, sir? Want to go upstairs? Yeah. Oh, I want to check this. Oh, okay. This is a shame, you know. No, but look at this. This, this, this could have been such a beautiful house. Just careful on Wait. the stairs. I want to try something. I'm going to make a sound. I want you to finish it. I don't know, I thought I heard something. I heard something over here, guys. I'm just going to look for a minute. Are you knocking in here? If you're knocking in here, can you do it again? Just me down here right now if you want to knock. Sorry, I thought I heard something over here. I wanted to. I heard something. That's where they have the Oh, that's gross. How did they not know this was going on in their house? This door has a few things they see. How do you not know this was going on in your house? Where did they get them from? What's in the closet there, Joe? There's a knife on the floor. Random stuff. Kids' toys. Just trying to get in here. The kid, you know what that cost you to fucking fix this? Ready? Everyone's got to be still and quiet. Mom, well, there's a hole. That's Tom, why don't you try asking questions? You're, you're open. No, but we heard it downstairs. Ask it, ask who made that noise, Tom. If there's anybody in here, speak now.
Who made that noise earlier? We're not here to cause you harm. With all due respect, we're here. We just want to see if we can communicate with you. You're probably not happy about what these last people did to your house. All these animals in here. I'm going to make a knock. Can you knock back for me? Clear in the closet. Speak into it. Let us know what you want. Who you are. Are you okay with us being here? Our camera picked up an unexplained whisper that I think says, Thanks for coming today. But only you can be the judge of what it actually says. Were you okay with the last people who lived here? Do you have a name? Can you make a knock? Make a sound. Just as I say make a sound, there's a loud knock that even later after we tried to debunk it, we couldn't find a plausible explanation. Okay, was that you? If, it, if that was you, can you do it again? Don't be shy. You mean you know her? Can you complete this? Use my energy if you have to. We want to hear from you. Your house is a mess. Do you ever try to clean up? You pig? This is how you keep your place? It's a mess. Did you do this? It's got the chill. It's going to pick up. Make a sign. Eager to get a response. I begin using provocation and provoking. It seems to work as the house becomes energized. The wind picks up and cold chills start going through my body. Also, a flock of geese flying overhead also seem to react to something. Just as I say, give me a sign. Was this just by coincidence, or was this from something supernatural in the house? I'm not quite sure. What do you think? Hey Max, as I said, your house was messy, run down, wrecked. You know what's going to be happening? It's going to be torn down. How does that make you feel? Where are you going to go? This place is no more. Can you make a sound for me? Just after Beth asks the spirit to make a noise, it seems to reply to my earlier question on how it feels about its house. It replies, not good. They know these people ruined their house. 
that cause a lot of bad feelings and negative energy. Do you want to do it by yourself? I'll go downstairs. Yeah. Do you want the camera too? or? Sure. Uh, it's already recording, so you need to hold it or set it somewhere. This is Joe doing an EVP session upstairs by myself. Just us now. Can you make a sound into this recorder? Is there anyone here with me right now? Speak into the recorder. While in the upstairs bedroom alone, I captured this amazing response, which I believe is saying, my boy's room, most likely referring to the room that I was in while asking the question. It's sad what happened to your home. It looks like it used to be a beautiful home. Did you used to farm here? Can you turn my flashlight on for me? Let's turn on the light. Just gotta switch it forward. We wrap up the investigation. I leave the house wondering, is it truly abandoned? Or is there something else there? Something paranormal? Spirits latched onto the house, either willingly or non-willingly, watching over it, until finally it's destroyed. But do they leave? Or do they stay on the property until the next home is built and continue haunting that one? So I will continue with my investigations and search for answers. Answers to what awaits us on the other side.